Meteorologist Andrew Baglini here with us on this Saturday night. We keep pushing, as we mentioned before air, these heat days, these advisories. Yeah, it's every just, day. We tack on another one at the end. Like, is man. there an end in sight? Is there Speaking an end? Speaking of yeah. Alaska, I actually saw yesterday the first winter storm warning of the season for the U.S. was issued in northern Alaska. How so about it? Eventually that'll get here, you know. On the doorstep. <laughs> yeah, right. For our friends way up to the north. That doesn't help us at all right now, though. Man, it's it's hot out there. And uh, yeah, taking a look down the shore, that's the place to be yeah. on a day like Playing today. Some ball. Right? Not a bad look, not a bad time to be had. Uh, just make sure you have the sunscreen. We've had a lot of sunshine down the shore here around Philadelphia. We've kind of been in and out of the clouds throughout the day. But, Joe, as you mentioned, that heat advisory it was initially going through 8 p.m. tomorrow. Now it's 8 p.m. on Monday. We'll see if they tack on Tuesday as well. They probably will, I'll tell you that. But the second half of next week is when we're finally going to start to feel some relief. But over the next few days, we've been doing it all summer. Keep cool, stay hydrated, stay protected, take care of yourself. 91 right now here in Philadelphia. Uh, mostly mid to upper 80s all across the region with a decent amount of sunshine. It's really that humidity that's been relentless. Dew points are up there, and that's not going away anytime soon. But you take a look at what the dew points do over the next few days. They just stay the same. But right at the very end there, as we get into Thursday and Friday of next week, see that nice Nice dip as some refreshing cooler air starts to make its way back in. All of that is because of a Wednesday night cold front that will deliver some thunderstorms, so we'll have to deal with that uh, coming up uh, later on this week. Storm scan three is clear right now, though. We've had some clouds drifting through the area from time to time. Storms well off to the west. Not out of the question. We could see a couple of those storms popping up locally this evening, kind of like last night, not quite as widespread, uh, but not out of the question that a few downpours may pass through the area, especially to the north and west of Philadelphia. Most areas are staying dry throughout tonight. Another muggy one, wake, waking up tomorrow morning to a mix of clouds and sunshine. It's going to be just a little bit hotter tomorrow than it was today, but with that increased sunshine, I think there's a slightly better chance to see some of those pop-up thunderstorms in the afternoon, mainly after 2 p.m. Still very hit or miss activity, so don't cancel any of your plans. Grab the sunscreen, stay hydrated, you know the drill, uh, but make sure you're taking care of yourself. But just keep in mind, if you see any dark looking skies or hear any thunder, there could be some pretty heavy rain passing through from time to time. But it is going to be pretty isolated. Mostly dry out there for tonight. Same story as we head into tomorrow. Decent amount of sunshine, a little more than today. That gets us back to around 92. Just a few isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon across the region. Nice day down the shore, though. I think you're going to stay dry. Mid 80s, mostly sunshine. And we continue to heat things up over the next couple of days. Upper 80s down the shore on Monday, whereas here in Philadelphia, calling for a high of 95. So the alert days will continue with that heat advisory at least into the week. And I think Tuesday, we're going to tack on another uh, heat advisory there. But the middle of the week is when things start to change. That cold front moves through by Friday and next weekend. It's going to feel a whole lot better. Joe. We'll be well done by then. All right, Andrew, thank you, sir.